Let me begin now. And before I begin, may I just give a trigger warning that for those who have PTSD, this will be very hard to listen to. And for those who have compassion in the heart also, this will be very hard to listen to this comprehensive data. The post-war U.S. military crimes against women in Okinawa. In the year 1945, soon after the U.S. arrival, a 50-year-old man is shot to death in trying to protect his wife, who was being raped by the U.S. soldier in Motobu village. No charge filed. Okinawan civilians, several women, are abducted by several U.S. soldiers in Motobu village. No charge filed. A woman is raped by an American who is called civilian by others. Motobu village. No charge filed. March. Several months after the first U.S. forces land on Zamami Island, the rape of island women begins. Women are abducted, carried to deserted seacoast areas, raped, and then let go. No charge filed. April. A Navy soldier witnesses a U.S. soldier raping a woman, in an Okinawan resident in Nago town. No charge filed. April. After U.S. forces land on Okinawa Island, as the incidence of rape increases, citizen guards are formed throughout the island. In the military hospital tents, there are many incidents where Okinawan nurses and female patients are raped and the night watch is enforced. Nurses and women patients suffer rape in the U.S. field hospital tents and night patrols are set up as a result. A young girl being treated at a field hospital tent is raped by a GA in, a GI in front of her father, who then carries the girl home. Detained, no record. Several women in Katsuyama village are raped repeatedly by two GIs who come to the village armed every weekend, demanding village women. A Japanese soldier hiding out nearby kills the GIs and village men threw the bodies into a nearby cave. One raped village woman bears a child, which is beaten to death by her husband. No charge filed. In the forest in Ginoza village, three young women, 17 and 18 years old, are abducted. Two hours later, they come home crying, saying that they are gang raped. No charge filed. A U.S. soldier attempts to rape a woman, who, a woman who is holding a baby, but somebody comes and he runs away. No charge filed. Responding to several rape reports, the U.S. military starts an investigation. In the south of Okinawa main island, three women, 17, 20, and 24, are raped after being captured by the U.S. military these women are formerly prostituted women abducted and enslaved sexually by the Japanese Imperial military during World War II. By June 30th, among 12 reported rapes by the U.S. military personnel, the victims of five of these cases were men. A 25-year-old woman searching for edible grasses in the field of Tamaguska village is surrounded, carried off, and gang raped by three GIs. Okinawa Police Report. A 19 year old woman searching for food along the coast with her grandmother in Tamaguska village is seized and raped. She gives birth the next April. No charge filed. Carrying their children on their back, two women from Ginoza village who are out gathering firewood are abducted by three GIs. In Katsuyama, in Yabu village, north of Okinawa, three women are raped. One woman becomes pregnant and has a baby, but her husband kills the baby. The soldiers visit the village every night, threatening the villagers with gunpoint to provide women. The villagers kill the soldiers, and the incident is only found out 50 years later. No charge was filed, both the rape and the murder. 
carrying her child on her back, a 39-year-old woman from Hanaji village, who is out gathering mugwort, is abducted by GIs in a jeep, thrown out of the jeep as it goes around the curve, killing her child. Two U.S. soldiers rape two women. They run away when other soldiers come. No charge filed. Carrying her child on her back, a 90-year-old woman is on her way to visit relatives in the Ishikawa detention camp with two men when abducted by three GIs. When the GIs point a gun at the two men, they are unable to resist. The remains of the woman and her child are found two years later. An Okinawa woman, an Okinawa worker, witnesses an MP rape a severely wounded woman in the Army Field Hospital in Gunusa village. A 46-year-old woman walking along the road in Motobu town jumps off a cliff to avoid attack by two GIs, breaking her leg. They come after her and rape her. A 35-year-old homeless woman living under Rocky Craig in Chinan village is returning one night from the toilet when she is raped by two GIs. She gives birth to a son the following August. Two teenagers, 16 and 17, are raped by the U.S. soldiers and the women are left naked. Sorry. <laughs> they are found by the villagers in Katsu village. In front of her mother, a daughter is abducted. The mother screams, tries to take the daughter away from the soldiers, but she was kicked and fell. The daughter is taken away. No charge filed. Now we'll go to 1946. Ten months after U.S. forces land on Okinawa Island, many Okinawan women give birth to bi biracial children. A 29-year-old woman held in the detention camp in Ishikawa City returns to her nearby garden to dig potatoes, where she is attacked and raped by two GIs despite her attempt to defend herself oft with some something here, her hope. This is an Okinawan police report. A 23-year-old woman out cutting grass in Kanagusuku village is abducted, cut on her cheek with a knife and raped. She gives birth later. No charge filed. A 19-year-old woman is abducted, taken into a field of tall grass in Itmel town and raped. She gives birth to a child as a result. A 30-year-old woman from Gushikawa village, who is working in the fields, is abducted and raped by three GIs. Her older sister, who is asleep, having just given birth, was also abducted by GIs the previous year, but a village protest resulted in nothing. A 19-year-old woman returning from work in her potato field in Urasal village is threatened by four GIs carrying guns who carry her into the tall bushes nearby and gang rape her. A 26-year-old woman returning home to Chatam village with a potato digging group is carried off in a military truck to an air raid shelter where she is gang raped by six GIs. A 28-year-old woman in Shuri City is take, talking with her husband after dinner when three GIs break into the house, hold down the husband and gang rape the woman. A GI forces his way into a detention camp tent, housing persons from mainland Japan or overseas and rape a woman. Many young women commit suicide after their violation, including mothers and daughters who are raped. No charge filed. A 21-year-old 20 woman catches a ride on a military truck, but it is pulled off the truck in Ogimi village and she is gang raped on the beach by three GIs. Okinawa Police Report. A, a 29-year-old woman is digging potatoes in Mawashi village when she is carried off to a nearby mountain and raped by a GI. 
It is reported by the military police that from December 10, 1945 to May 25, 1946, there are 30 rapes and attempted rapes. A 40-year-old woman is returning to the detention camp in Gushikawa village from digging potatoes in a field where she is grabbed and raped by a GI coming out of the hills. Her son calls for help in the far to the farmers in a nearby field, but they are unable to catch the GI who threatens them with a pistol. A 25-year-old woman on her way to her vegetable garden in Oroko village is abducted, carried off to the hills by three GIs and gang raped. A 35-year-old woman is visited by a Japanese male friend and a Japanese American soldier. They invite her to accompany them to a jeep, them in a jeep to pick up the baggage of the Japanese man, but they stop at the soldier's barracks where she is taken inside and raped by the soldier. A 25-year-old woman is working on a farm in Shuri City when three GIs carry her off into the hill and gang rape her. A 46-year-old woman is asleep when three GIs break into her house in Oroko village, threaten her with a gun, and carry her off to the barracks where they gang rape her. A 19-year-old woman is asleep when three GIs pull the wooden shutters off her house, threaten her family, and carry her off to a field in Hayabaru village where they gang rape her. A 70-year-old woman is returning home from working in the fields in Haibara village when four GIs in a truck carry her off to the Kadena seashore where they gang rape her. A 23-year-old woman is returning home from digging potatoes in Haibara village when five GIs carry her off in a truck to the barracks in Naha city where they gang rape her. A 26-year-old woman en route to Awase, meets six GIs on the road. The man with her tries to protect her, but the GIs beat him severely with a tent pole and carry the woman off to a field where they gang rape her. A 29-year-old woman searching for leftover food at the Tomiguska village trash, trash dump is carried off to a field by 11 GIs and gang raped. For the record, most of these cases, no charges were filed. So if there is any charges filed, I'll just read it from there. A 43-year-old woman searching for building supplies at a dump in Shuri City is carried off into the nearby hills, raped by two GIs. A 54-year-old woman working in the fields in Urasoe village is carried off to a nearby field by four GIs where she is gang raped. A 16-year-old girl walking home after working in the field is stopped by six GIs who block her path, throw her into a military truck and carry her off to a field in Ginawan village where they gang rape her. A 50-year-old woman is washing clothes in a river in Urasa village where two GIs appear, carry her off to a nearby mountain and gang rape her. A 34-year-old woman doing laundry at the riverside in Chatan village disappears. Her body is found and a rag is stuffed into her mouth in an area off-limits to Okinawans, leading to the assumption that she was raped and murdered by a GI. Of course, no charges were filed. A 41-year-old woman returning from visiting her family grave in Kochinda village is accosted by a truck load of GIs. She tries to escape but is loaded onto the truck, taken to their barracks and raped by two GIs. A 42 year old woman working in the field in Ginawan is seen by a GI and raped on the spot. A 45 year old woman returning home from working in the fields meets a truck load of GIs as she is crossing a bridge. She is loaded onto the truck crying, and a short time later she is raped by two of the GIs. A 24-year-old woman working in the fields in Gushku village resists rape by a GI and is severely wounded by his knife. 
When local men raise their voices, he protests. In protest, he escapes. A 24-year-old woman returning home in Naha City is stopped on the road by two GIs, carried on their arms and thrown into a truck, driven to a mountain area in Ginawan village where she is raped by eight GIs. A 45-year-old woman returning home from digging potatoes in the garden stops to wash her feet at a well in Shuri City where she is grabbed by a GI, taken to a nearby banana plant field and raped. A 47-year-old woman is walking along the road with her husband when four GIs in a truck stop and block their way, hold down the husband and carry the wife off to the Yomitan village where the four GIs rape her. A 29-year-old woman on her way to work in her garden is abducted by GIs in a jeep, taken to a nearby riverbank where she is raped by two of the GIs. She is then taken to the jeep taken to the jeep to a GI barracks in the area of Kadena, where she is raped 11 times by three GIs. A 39-year-old woman is digging potatoes in a field in Gushikawa village, where she is abducted by two GIs, who come out of the mountains, take her back to the mountains, and rape her. When she cries out, villagers come and chase away the GIs who flee. A 42-year-old woman goes to the field in Shuri City to dig for potatoes, where she is seen by a GI who chases her to a tomb area where she is raped at a gravesite. The mother of two children, while doing laundry at a well in Katsuren village, is raped. When she bears a son, her husband deserts the family. A 26-year-old woman in Katsuran village is raped by a GI. She gives birth to a daughter, leaves the baby with her mother, and goes to South America. A 20-year-old woman gives a ri gets a ride on a military transport truck, along with 15 other men and women farm workers in Ginawan village. The truck turns off the main road, and sensing danger, the workers jump off the truck one by one. The woman doesn't jump off in time and is taken to an empty house where she is raped by three GIs. A 48-year-old woman is returning home with a friend from Mawashi village where they are chased by two GIs standing guard duty. Her friend escapes but the woman is caught and taken to the barracks where she is raped by the two GIs. Now I'll go to 1947. A 40-year-old woman is returning home from a friend's house in Masato village where she is forced into a car by three GIs, taken to the Kadena base barracks and gang raped by three GIs. A 24-year-old woman and her mother are weeding their garden when two GIs drive up in a jeep. The women do their best to escape, but the GIs take the women into the woods nearby where they rape her. A 36-year-old woman is walking along the road when she is abducted by three GIs, driven in a truck some 30 minutes away to an old house and gang ra raped by the three GIs at gunpoint. A woman from Gushikawa village who is working in the fields with other people is abducted and raped. She later gives birth to a red-headed baby. A 23-year-old woman is out hunting in on the village with family veg me members for edible so it's a sotetsu palm trees. She starts home ahead of the family members and is abducted and loaded onto a truck by a GI and taken into the mountains where she is raped. Her father finds the place she was taken and tries to catch the GI, but he escapes in a truck. A 36-year-old woman is on her way to visit a sick friend in Ishikawa City where she is dragged onto a truck by a GI, taken to the GI barracks in Yomidan and is gang raped by three GIs. A 30-year-old woman is returning with a friend from a wedding in Shuri City where she is abducted by two GIs in a jeep and taken to the barracks where they gang rape her. 
A 36-year-old woman and her husband were returning from a relative's house in Shuri City when they meet two GIs in a truck who block their path, taking the woman by force to a tomb area in the Naha City near a barracks where they rape her. They then carry her into the barracks where three other GIs rape her. A 40-year-old woman and her husband are walking home in Shuri City when they meet a truckload of GIs. The husband puts up a fight, but five GIs beat him, then take the woman to an old house nearby and gang rape her. They ignore the woman's pleas to return the woman, who is then turned over to five other G GIs who are standing nearby watching and they take her back to the truck where they gang rape her. A 21-year-old woman is walking with five friends in Nakagusku village when they meet three GIs, one of whom brandishes a pistol and takes the woman to a nearby field and rapes her. The other two GIs are frightened by the sound of the emergency alarm being sounded in the village and flee the scene. A 33-year-old woman and her husband are walking along a road in Koza City on the way to a friend's house when they meet three GIs who beat the man and carry off the woman to a nearby tomb where all three rape her. A 29-year-old woman is out looking for firewood with two friends in Koza City where she is grabbed from behind by four GIs. Although she struggles to escape, when she is grabbed from behind, she is raped by two of the GIs. A 31-year-old woman is digging for potatoes in a field in Gushikawa village when she is surrounded by three GIs. One stands in front of her by blocking her way as he gestures that he will dig the potatoes and take the hoe from her as two other GIs pull her down to the ground, force a piece of wood into her mouth and the three GIs gang rape her. A 35, sorry, a 34-year-old woman in Ogimi village is abducted by three GIs and raped on the beach. People walking, working nearby try to help her but fail. A 38-year-old woman is returning home from looking for firewood with a friend in Koza City, where they are surrounded by two GIs who carry her off to a nearby mountain and rape her. The two GIs then whistle to five other G GIs who, can, who come and also gang rape the woman. A 20-year-old woman is working in the field with her mother in Misato village when a GI appears, threatening the mother and carries off the woman to a nearby grove of pine trees where he rapes her. A bystander goes to get help but the GI escapes. A 20-year-old woman is returning home to Itumon, Itumon City from Naha City when she gets a ride on a military truck. However, the truck drives off in the opposite direction to Kadena military base where the woman is taken into the barracks and raped by a GI. A 24-year-old woman returns home to Inkoza City when a GI who is hiding in her at house attempts to rape her. When she resists, he pulls a knife and stabs her to death. He is arrested by an MP, but there is no record of charges. A 22-year-old woman is returning to her home in Nago Town when she is abducted by a GI in a truck and is raped by two GIs while the truck is in motion. She is put off the truck later where eight other GIs gang rape her and then once again loaded into the truck and raped by two other GIs. A 28-year-old woman is walking along the road with her husband. It's, the couple cuts across a field to avoid the jeep, but they are surrounded by five GIs. Three of them who restrain the husband, while the other two GIs rape the woman on the spot. A 28-year-old woman escapes from a pistol-bearing GI who enters her house in Koza City, fearing for her six-month-old child who is asleep in the house. She returns to the house. The GI pulls out her out into the field, rapes and kills her with the pistol.
the records shows that he was arrested, but there's no other record here. A 27-year-old woman and her husband are asleep in their home in Otozato, Ozato village when four GIs riding in the truck break into the home. While the husband is going for help, the woman is abducted and taken away in the truck, which later stops, and four GIs gang rape her inside the truck. A 42-year-old woman working in the fields in Gushikawa village is raped by a GI. A woman from Owashi village who is returning home from Tomigusku village to retrieve something she forgot is raped by a GI. A 28-year-old woman and her husband are asleep in their home in Koza city when a GI carrying a pistol breaks into their house. The woman tries to escape but is chased into the garden by the GI who holds her down, rapes her and shoots her in the head, killing her. A 28-year-old woman is exchanging bananas for soap with a GI in front of a military post in Naha City when two other G uh, GIs carry her off to a nearby storage warehouse and gang rape her. A 27-year-old woman is resting at home with a stomach ache when two GIs break into her house in Gushikawa village, grab a knife from the kitchen, tie up her husband and mother, and rape her in front of their eyes. A 42-year-old woman working in the field in Gushikawa village when two GIs come out of the mountains, surround her and rape her in the field. Her wrist and shoulder are dislocated. When a man looking for firewood nearby cries, nine-year-old foster child attempts to help the woman but is flung aside cut on the wrist, and this is how the shoulder was discolated. When a man looking for firewood cries out for help, the GIs run away. A 19-year-old woman is helping a friend in the kitchen when the friend's GI friend who is coming to visit saying that he wants to have sex with a young woman. Another GI holds the woman friend down, and both GIs then rape the young woman. A 58-year-old woman is working in the field in Itoman City, when she is seized from behind and raped by a GI. A 24-year-old woman, on her way to work in Ozata village, is thrown into a GI truck, driven to an area behind a military warehouse, and gang raped by five GIs. She is then taken into a military barracks, where she is raped by two other GIs. One of the GIs who had earlier raped her returns and rapes her one more time. A 37-year-old woman is doing farm work with her mother, walking along carrying a basket on her head when she was grabbed from behind by a GI. She cries out for help, and when he pushes her down on the ground to rape her, she bites his hand. He hits her in the face 14 to 15 times, and then flees to avoid neighborhood police, people who are coming to rescue her. A 70-year-old girl meets three GI acquaintances in a jeep on her way home. They tell her to get into the jeep and take her to a military barracks in Katsurin village where they rape her a total of seven times. A 30-year-old woman is cutting grass when a GI grabs her from behind, takes her sickle, carries her to a deserted house and rapes her. A 26-year-old woman and her mother are cutting grass in Mawashi village, where a GI grabs her and tries to carry her off. She struggles to escape, but he overtakes her and hits her over the head with a sugarcane stalk, straddling her to rape her. She uses her sickle to try to cut her face, but he grabs it from her and cuts her face and finger. An 18-year-old woman and her friend are walking to Camp Zukurang, where she is abducted by a GI, taken into a mountain area and raped. To keep her from crying out, he hits her over the head with an iron pipe. A 26-year-old woman who is working in a field in Chatan village is abducted to a nearby mountain area and raped there. A 21-year-old woman is traveling along a road in Haibara village where a wheel falls off the car she is in 
and it comes to a stop by the side of the road. She is trying to get another ride when a GI suddenly appears from another road. Sensing danger, she tries to get away, but he chases her down the road and rapes her. A 90-year-old woman on her way to dig for potatoes in Nishihara village meets a GI driving in a vehicle when it suddenly stops, gets out and chases after the woman, pulling her down on the road and rapes her. A U.S. soldier who works in Maki Minato General Hospital is sentenced with a three-year incarceration dishonorable discharge and the pay from August the previous year when the rape was committed. And this was done by a military court. This is one case where he had a three-year discharge, dishonorable discharge. A 36-year-old woman is at a home when a GI forces his way into the house, looking for a woman. He takes off his shoes and crawls into bed. She tries to escape, but he catches hold of her arm, pulls her down, and points a gun at her and rakes her. A 24-year-old woman is returning from looking for firewood with her husband in Ishikawa City when they come across two GIs in a jeep. One GI grabs the woman and asks to have sex with his wife. When he refuses, the GI threatens him with a knife and throws him down to the ground. Then both of the GIs rape the woman. A 40-year-old woman and her two friends are on their way home when a GI abducts her and takes her into a small military guard hut in Koza City where he threatens her at gunpoint and rapes her. An 18-year-old woman is digging for potatoes in a field in Gushikawa village when two GIs rape her on the spot. A 70-year-old woman is at a home when three GIs come to the house demanding women. They grab her and shoot off six bullets to threaten her, then take her to a nearby mountain area where three GIs gang rape her and then flee further into the mountain. An 18-year-old woman is sleeping when six GIs force their way into her house and attempt, attempt to abduct her. One GI goes out into the garden, shooting off his gun to stop the family from resisting. The, G, the woman is carried off into the nearby mountain area, where the GIs shoot wildly at an emergency oxygen tank while one of them rapes the woman. Among three men who are charged, one is discharged from the military with no pay and punished with five-year labor. Two are released. A 19-year-old woman and, and her uncle are walking along the road on their way to Oyama in Ginowan village when a GI appears out of the bushes, grabbing and holding the woman and threatening the uncle with a gun, chasing him away. He whistles to signal to another GI who appears. He demands that the woman have sex with him, but when she refuses, he hits her in the face and then rapes her. A 34-year-old woman is washing her clothes in a river in Kadina village when a GI suddenly appears and abducts her. Her body is found five days later in an old animal shed. She had been raped. and a heavy stone was placed on her chest and she had been violated by several persons. A 21-year-old woman is returning home from digging for potatoes when she is grabbed from behind by a GI and pushed into a ditch. He takes her sickle and other tools and drags her into a wooded area where he rapes her. Then. Just as a second GI is about to rape her, the woman's brother comes to get her, and when the two GIs see him coming, they flee. A woman is abducted by a group of GIs. Trying to defend her, one Okinawan man is killed, and another is injured. During this period, GIs roam around residential areas near military bases, calling out to women in broken Japanese, or Okinawan language. A third-year girl high school student in Katsuran village is on her way from home from school 
and catches a ride on a U.S. military truck with a boy classmate. But fearing rape, she jumps off the truck to her death. A 17-year-old girl is in her house in Irasoe village when three GIs enter carrying a gun and demand eggs from her brother who gives them seven eggs. They start to escape from the back door when the family members raise a commotion. At the same time, the girl tries to escape through the back door, but she is grabbed by her hair by the GIs, and one of them shoots into the air three times to frighten the family, and the three GIs escape into a nearby field, dragging her behind them where they gang rape her. A 20-year-old woman is digging for potatoes in a field in Gushikawa village when a GI approaches carrying a gun, asking for directions. The woman tried to escape, but he grabs her shoulder and takes her into a nearby wood where she was held down and the two GIs take turns raping her, standing guard. Just when the community alarm is sounded, the two GIs escape into the mountains, brandishing their guns. A 20-year-old woman and her friend are on their way home to Naha City, where they plan to spend the night at a relative's house, when two GIs suddenly appear out of the bushes, asking the women, Where are you going? When the women answer, We're going to Savoya. One of the GIs tries to grab the woman. She throws her sandal at him and runs off, but he catches her and rapes her. She is taken at gunpoint to a military barracks, where she is raped by some 20 other GIs. A 14-year-old girl and her two male cousins are returning home after digging potatoes in their garden. When they meet a GI, he offers the girl a cigarette and she refuses. The cigarettes are offered to her cousin, who also refuse. The girls try to escape, but she is thrown to the ground and the G.I. holds his hand over her mouth and presses one foot down on her shoulder, and he rapes her. A 23-year-old woman who is walking in Naha City is abducted from behind by a G.I. who takes her to a military hut and rapes her. The next morning, he takes her to a nearby barracks where she is gang-raped by some 20 other G.I.s. A 65-year-old woman is on her way to work in the field, where she sees a GI up ahead. Afraid, she turns around to go home, but the GI runs after her, grabs her, and drags her to an empty house, hits her on the face several times with a gun, and just as he is about to rape her, her son arrives on the scene, holds the GI down, and the mother was able to escape. A 23-year-old woman is watching the house in Motobu town for the owner who is away. When four GIs drive up in a taxi and attempt to abduct the girl who runs outside to escape, the four GIs chase her into a grove of trees and they gang rape her. A 31-year-old woman is digging for potatoes with her brother-in-law when two GIs abduct her and take her to a nearby woods where they rape her. A 20-year-old woman and her friend are talking as they walk along a farm road in Naha City when five GIs approach them saying, No speak, no speak, as they choked and beat the women's faces and heads with a wooden pole. The 20-year-old woman sees a chance to escape but is caught back and gang raped by the five GIs. A 20-year-old woman is searching for edible seaweed with eight neighbors along the seashore in Ozata village when two GIs appear. Sensing danger, she tries to escape, but just as she is dashed about by the waves, she is raped in the water by one of the GIs, and then the other pulls her up onto the beach to rape her, but just then her friends come running and the GIs flee. A 20-year-old one year old woman is digging for potatoes in a field in Ursa village where a GI comes up threatening her with a gun, takes her to a nearby field and rapes her. A 26 year old woman and her husband are returning to Naha city from Shuri city when they decide to visit a friend in Tomari port area. As they approach the engineer's battalion area, 10 GIs suddenly come out of the bushes. 
five surround the husband, and the other five take the woman up to the second floor of the military building and gang rape her. In March 1947, an Air Force soldier rapes a woman in Masato village. He is sentenced to 20 year incarceration. Finally, we had an incarceration here. A 56 year old woman is taking her son's lunch to him in the field when two GIs suddenly appear. Fearing for her life, she tries to escape, but they catch her and take her into the fields, into the hills, and rape her. In April 1948, a woman is injured by a soldier who attempts raping the woman. In the military court, he is sentenced with dishonorable discharge, salary forfeiture, and five-year incarceration. A 35-year-old woman is on her way home from working in the fields when a GI approaches and attacks her. Having no place to go, she runs to the trash dumping site, thinking someone will help her there. But no one hears her cries for help and she is raped by the GI. A 26-year-old woman is returning from gathering firewood with her three friends. As they cut across the Yomitan military airstrip, she falls behind the others because of the heavy load she is carrying. She is abducted and loaded onto a military truck by two GIs who rape her in the truck. A 22-year-old woman goes to Yonobaru town on business and is looking for a truck on which to ride back to Naha City. She gets a ride on a truck driven by a GI. During the ride, a GI sitting next to the driver climbs into the back of the truck next to the woman and pushes her down in the seat, laughing and rapes her. A 16-year-old girl goes into her high school to watch swimming practice at the beach in Naha City. Three GIs pass the beach and one GI pushes the girl to the ground and is about to rape her when her classmates see what is happening and rescue her. When she tries to get away from the GI, he hits her over the head with a rock and injures her. A 34-year-old woman is awakened and taken from her home in Ishikawa City to a nearby beach by a drunken man who had been threatened with a knife by two GIs and ordered to bring them a woman. A woman. The man had refused at first but is told that he would be killed if he doesn't bring a woman to them. She is then taken to the Kadena base warehouse and is raped by the two GIs. Oh, this is difficult. A nine-month-old baby girl who lives with her parents who work and live inside Camp Zukuran is often cared for by a GI family friend. When they go to his house to pick her up on the day, the baby has a high fever and is hemorrhaging in her private area. Taken to the hospital, she is confirmed by a doctor to have a 1.5 centimeter cut and was reported to have been raped. A 56-year-old woman is returning home in Shuri City when a truck stops in front of her, turns off its lights and two GIs get out. One GI takes out his body part and demands sex. When she refuses to perform oral sex on him, he throws a wrench at her, hitting her in the mouth and knocking out her four front teeth. In the military court, a sergeant who is working in the service sector is sentenced with a 25-year hard labor. We found another charge here. The others are no charges. Three soldiers come into a civilian house, take a knife and go try to grab an 18-year-old woman, pulling the knife to her throat and attempts to rape her. The villagers make a loud noise and they flee. A man who was working for the military administration trading section rapes a woman who is working in a cafe. He receives a two-year incarceration and is deported from Japan. 
A 15-year-old girl is gathering firewood near the 59th Engineers Battalion in Yomitan Village. When she stops for a rest with 12 friends, a GI appears and demands a woman. When they refuse, he seizes the girl at gunpoint, drags her into the nearby tall grass and raped her. The number of biracial children at this point totals 450 children. The November 28 time states that the GIs stationed in Okinawa are, quote, those without ability, rejects, unintelligent trash, and that during the previous six-month period alone, GIs had committed 18 crimes. Working as a maid on a military base, a 70-year-old woman from Gushikawa village is raped in GI quarters. She gives birth to a biracial child. From April 1945 to December 1949, the number of rape and fatal injury cases, number 76, of which four women are raped and murdered, and seven women are killed when they jump out of moving vehicles or jump off cliffs to escape abduction. These figures represent only the reported cases. Now we go to 1950. Returning home at 11 p.m. after attending a drama in Naha City, two women are carried off at gunpoint by GIs. One woman is raped by six GIs and the other by eight GIs. A 20-year-old woman and her 21-year-old friend are returning home when they are abducted in a two-ton truck by two GIs, taken to a nearby motor pole in Miwa Mawashi village and raped inside the truck. A 26-year-old woman returns home from a drama and is changing clothes when five GIs force their way into her house in Ishikawa city. When she cries out for help, they cover her mouth with a handkerchief and carry her into a nearby field. When she cries out once again and the nearby villagers sound the alarm and coming to rescue her, three of the GIs flee but the re remaining two GIs restrain her arms and legs, cover her face and mouth with her clothing and take turns raping her. A 29-year-old woman is returning from a drama in Gushikawa village with three, three friends when they meet a GI friend who forces them to go with him. When she pushes one of her friends to the ground, injuring her, the woman escapes and is on her way home when she catches up with her friend but she is pushed down to the ground and is raped. A woman is on her way home to, sorry, a woman is in her home in Gushikawa village when a GI forces his way into her house, fires a gun and rapes her. A 26-year-old woman is returning home with a male friend in Mawashi village when three GIs suddenly appear and ask her friend a question. Her friend runs off and two of the GIs run after him and bring him back. The three GIs take the woman to a nearby engineer's battalion building and rape her. A 29-year-old woman is sitting and talking with her neighbors outside of her home in Yomitan village when a GI appears, exposes his body, grabs the woman and demands sex from her. When she refuses, he puts out the lamp and rapes her while other GIs restrains the neighbors. A 46-year-old woman is preparing her evening meal when two GIs enter her house in Yomitan village through the back door. They twist her right arm behind her, throw her down, and rape her. A 27-year-old woman is filling and lighting the lamps in her home in Gushikawa village when a GI breaks in, removes his clothes, and tries to have sex with her. She, so surprised, tries to resist, grabbing hold of the doorway, but he carries her into a back room and rapes her. A U.S. soldier rapes a high school female student. A 40-year-old woman is on her way to the Camp Kua -e laundry in Chatan village. She comes to a military road where suddenly two GIs jump out of the bushes. Surprised, she throws down the bundle she is carrying and tries to escape, but they grab her throw her into a dish at the side, ditch at the side of the road, and rape her. A 
26-year-old woman spends the night at her friend's house in Ginawan village. The next day, two MPs appear at her friend's house, saying they are taking her to the MP headquarters on charges of prostitution. When they get there, without any investigation, they say they will take her home in a jeep. Instead, they take her to a field and rape her. Four U.S. soldiers attempt raping a 23-year-old woman, but the police and the residents near the incident come right away and they flee. Two were arrested here, but the charges are not known. A 22-year-old 20 woman is returning home by car with a co-worker when they meet a military truck driven by a GA friend, who has three GI friends with him. When the car stops, the woman senses danger and tries to escape, but she is thrown into the back seat of the truck. When she refuses to kiss the GI, he pushes her down and rapes her. A 25-year-old woman is at home alone when a GI breaks into her house in Mawashi village, brandishing, brandishing a sword. He rips off her clothes and rapes her. A 30-year-old woman is staying at a hotel with a man in the hotel room. Two U.S. soldiers come in at gunpoint and the woman is raped. The man who is with her is chased away by them. With the outbreak of the Korean War, construction on the U.S. bases in Okinawa reaches a peak, as Okinawan bases become launching points for the Korean battlefield and the number of GIs in Okinawa increases greatly. The rape cases reported during the six-year post-war period total 278. Now we'll go to 1951. At 11.30 p.m., two women are raped by the U.S. soldiers and the men are brought to charge, but it is unknown if anything is done. A U.S. soldier attempts to rape a 32-year-old woman who is working at a restaurant. The police arrest him, but there is no record of any charges. A 31-year-old woman is passing along a road in Masato village when a drunken GI grabs her by the neck, assaults her, and drags her to a nearby house, where he continues raping her for over a 40-minute period. When the woman tells him she needs to go outside to the toilet, he grabs her hair, pulls a knife out of his pocket, and cuts her on her thumb and other places. Terrified, she cries out for help. Another GI in the area runs to help her, but overpowered by the first GI, he flees. Becoming more and more violent, the GI drops the woman into a cistern of water nearby the door, and when she tries to climb out, he pushes her back in and continues to inflict violence upon her. A 19-year-old 90, a woman is talking with a friend at a friend's house when two GIs pry open the lock on the front door, pushes her down and about to rape her, when three neighborhood men respond to the appeal of the friend and come to help her, causing the GIs to flee. A 30-year-old woman and other women are sleeping when two GIs pry open the back door and enter the room. They expose their bodies and demand sex. When the two women refuse, one of the GIs rapes her. The woman's friend runs out to the kitchen to sound the alarm and the neighbors come running, but is overcome by the GIs. The other GI then rapes the women. Afterwards, several neighbors and the police come and one of the GIs is arrested, but there is no record of charges. A U.S. soldier intrudes into the house in Motoba village. He is drunk and threatens an 18-year-old woman to become his wife, but when she declines, he attempts to rape her, but she is able to run away from the house. A 19-year-old waitress is threatened by a GI to become his honey, and she declines. Then he attempts killing her, but is arrested by the police, military police. Around 11 p.m., three women who are walking are almost kidnapped by three U.S. soldiers, but they escape. Seven U.S. soldiers come to a drinking place and are trying to force the women to have sex with them. The women leave. So the soldiers take the money from the place and leave. At 12 a.m., a soldier comes into a civilian's house, putting the knife into the woman's stomach. She was 45 years old. A U.S. soldier is arrested for raping a woman in Gushikawa village. 
but there is no record of charges. A 16-year-old girl is hurrying home from her job inside the U.S. base with two friends. She gets off near her house and hearing a GI following them, quickens her footsteps, but the GI does the same. She calls out for help, but the GI pulls out, of a, ra pulls out a razor and threatens her, covers her mouth, chokes, and overpowers her. He carries her to a nearby field where he holds the rape razor against her and as he, she resists him, he rapes her. A 70-year-old woman is eating in a restaurant when a tipsy GI enters and asks the owner to have sex with the woman. When he is refused, the GI takes the woman to an empty house behind a nearby store and pointing a gun at her as if he will shoot, rapes her. A 24-year-old woman is during the call of an evening at the shop of a friend when three GIs pass by. When one of them demands sex and she refuses, the other GIs draw their swords to threaten her. Two of them grab her arms, one pushes her from behind, and they take her to a nearby field. When the woman cries out for help, one GI flees, but one GI stands guard while the other rapes her. A witness sounds the alarm, and an MP comes running and arrests the man who rapes her. A 21-year-old woman is returning home when she hears four GIs approaching her from behind. They grab both of her hands, push her down into a ditch, and one GI rapes her. She calls out for help in a loud voice, but to no avail, and the other three GIs also rape her. A 30-year-old woman is sleeping when she is awakened by a Japanese man and forced into a GI taxi which stops near Kadena Base, where she is stripped naked. She is taken to a mountain road held by her hair while the GI straddles her. She is, he demands her to perform acts upon him and then just leaves her naked and flees. A 48 woman is returning home from work in Naha City when she stops at a friend's workplace to walk home with her. Learning the friend has already left for home, she walks on and meets her friend and her GI boss who offered to take her home in his, in his jeep. She gets in the jeep. Ignoring her repeated pleas to stop the jeep, he takes her to a farm road and rapes her. 20-year-old Okinawan housemaid who is uh, working for a U.S. personnel is raped by the employer, employer and has a baby boy. Later, the man goes back to the USA and disappears. The woman dies from sickness and the child is raised by his grandmother. There are quite a lot of children who don't know who their father are in Okinawa. Obviously, here. Yeah. Now, 1952. A 48-year-old woman is walking out in Nago town when she meets 20 GIs in a Kadena-based truck who abduct her taking her to the entrance of a shrine where one GI rapes her. An 18-year-old woman is playing with a friend when a GI approaches and abducts her and takes her to a tomb area where he demands sex. When she refuses, he hits her over the head with a whiskey bottle, injuring the woman on the back of her head. A 21-year-old woman is sleeping when a GI assigned as an engineer bat battalion breaks into her house in Naha City, declaring he is with the, with some group and she is ordered to leave the house immediately, threatening that if she refuses, she will be charged by the MP. When she tries to get up, he forces her down and rapes her. One hour later, he returns, once again rapes her and she tries to flee. A 21-year-old woman in Koza City who works as a typist in the Camp Zukuran commander's office is raped in the office by a GI supervisor. A 30-year-old woman hides in the back of her house when she hears that a GI she had had a relationship with is approaching. He forces his way into her house, grabs her by the hair, and tries to pull her outside. She resists, but experiencing intense abdominal pain, she looks down to see that he has slashed her in the abdomen with his sword, leaving a cut of 10 centimeters long.
and one centimeter deep. A 27-year-old woman who is living with a GI is constantly accusing him of being unfaithful. One day when he had been drinking, his accusations erupt into a fierce quarrel. He pushes her down, rips off her clothes, over and over again, beats her, covering her with bruises. A 29-year-old woman is talking with a friend in a house when three drunken GIs enter. One GI takes off his pants near the kitchen and chases the woman. They run back out of the house, and as they run out onto the road, the woman falls down, discolating her right leg. She cries out for help, and the neighborhood youth patrol come running to the rescue. A woman is promised by a GI that he'll give her money to have sex with her, but after that he refuses to pay. When he is told that the police will be called, he chases the man who has been threatened and knocks him down, injures his head, and then flees. A 19-year-old woman waitress undergoing lewd conduct by a GI returns to her room, but the GI forces his way into her room where he inflicts violence upon her. Refusing to tolerate his behavior, she threatens to call an MP and goes outside to do so, but she is injured by a five-pound, two-kilogram rock thrown at her by another GI standing nearby. Now I'll go to 1953. The U.S. soldiers attack two women. One flee but the other is raped in Yomitan village. A 70-year-old 70, 70 woman who is working as a housemaid is raped by her employee when she comes back to the house for lunch. She becomes pregnant but aborts the child. A 50-year-old woman became mentally ill after being gang raped by several US soldiers. She is found dead later in the ocean, but her death is treated as an accident. Six-year-old Yumiko Nakayama, living in Ishikawa village, Ishikawa city, is abducted, raped, and murdered by a GI assigned to a Kadena base anti-aircraft battalion. It says here that he received the death penalty, but it was cut to 45 years of hard labor. Six years old. Raped and murdered and thrown into the trash. A week later, a nine-year-old girl from Gushikawa City is abducted from her bed by a U.S. Marine. It says here that he received life imprisonment. A hostess working in a brothel area in Ginawan village is murdered by a marine officer in what is labeled as a crime of sexual perversion, it says here. There was an eight-year sentence. A 20-year-old housemaid is raped near the Naha airport by a GI private first class. It says here was a 10-year sentence, but discharged. A 22-year-old hostess in Koza City is raped and strangled by a GI. Her nude body is discovered afterwards. There was a three-year sentence, it says here. A 47-year-old hostess is murdered by two 20-year-old marine deserters in Cushy Village. It says they received life imprisonment. According to the Okinawa Police Report, 11 rape incidents occurred in 1961, but only six cases were charged. The Okinawa Police reported that 28 rape incidents of this year, in 1962, 14 were charged. In 1963, a 22-year-old hostess from Misato Village is murdered by an airman, airman first class assigned to a Naha Airport Battalion who feels that she has rejected him. There was an 18-year sentence. A 20-year-old hostess from Kushi Village is raped in a field by two 
two GIs stationed at Camp Swab. The suspects are arrested by an MP. 19-year-old woman who is working in the soldiers' barracks as a maid is raped. The woman becomes pregnant and has a baby boy. The Okinawan police reported that there were 28 rape acts incidents in 1963 and only 12 were charged. In 1964, a GI commits a series of rapes in Koza City, entering houses where only women are living. The Okinawa police reported that there were 17 rape incidents in 1964 and nine cases were charged. In 1965, a 28-year-old hostess is murdered in her home in Kin Village. Three GI suspects undergo an investigation. A 20-year-old hostess who works in a bar in Naha City is taken home in a car of an airman stationed in the Naha Air Base where he takes her to Mabuni, Itaman City, where he rapes her and attempts to kill her by running her down with his car. She jumps down a cliff to save herself. Fearing detection, he confesses 20 years later. The Okinawa police reported that there were 10 rape incidents in 1965. Four were charged. 1966, a 31-year-old hostess on her way home from work in Kin Village is raped and murdered, and her nude body was dumped in a ditch. This case is also unsolved. The Okinawan police reported that there were 17 rape incidents in 1966. Nine were charged. A 32-year-old hostess in 1967 is murdered, and her nude body disposed of by an 18-year-old Marine in Kin Village. It says here, 35 years hard labor. A 34-year-old hostess is raped and killed by a GI that says no record in Koza City. A 20-year-old woman is bludgeoned to death in her home in Kin Village by a GI, also unsolved. An increase in the number of cases of robberies and murders of hostesses occurs in, as GIs fighting in Vietnam come to Okinawa for R&R leave. During this period, whenever a woman in a bar serving GIs goes into the toilet, it's said that she is going to commit suicide. 1968, a 35-year-old woman working as a maid on a base in Urasoi City is killed by an American woman teacher working in the same base. She is returned to the US by the military. A 52-year-old housewife is raped and murdered on a road in front of her house by a private first class who is assigned to a missile base in Yomitan village. He was sent to Korea, but Okinawan police arrest him and give life imprisonment. A 23-year-old hostess is raped and pistol is hit with a pistol inflicting serious injuries by a Marine MP in Ginoza village. 1969, a 21-year-old hostess is murdered and her nude body disposed of by a private second class in an artillery regiment in Koza city. The body of a 20-year-old hostess is found and the official autopsy leads to the conclusion that the, the crime was committed by a GI. A 25-year-old woman returning from her part-time job in Naha City is raped and stabbed with a knife repeatedly on a street. It says here there was a two-month salary cut and discharge. A 21-year-old woman is attacked by a GI at her job on a military base in Urasa City. A high school student is attacked by a U.S. military sergeant and is stabbed in the abdomen and head in a field rape attempt. School teachers, women's organizations and high school students issue a strong protest and the suspect is arrested. But there was insufficient proof, it said, but there was three years of hard labor, it says here. A woman proprietor of a bar is raped when a GI forces his way behind the counter in the course of which she sustains injuries in her leg and neck so that she is 
no longer able to walk. The accused is transferred during trial and acquitted due to lack of evidence. A third year old a third year high school student in Miyako Island on their way to school at seven thirty AM when three bare chested GIs in a Jeep grabbed them by the arms and dragged them along behind the the Jeep for a short distance. nineteen seventy one the nude body of a 22-year-old hostess is found at a grave in Ginawan City. The testimony of a witness results in the arrest of a Marine Corporal. It says here that the case was acquitted. A 41-year-old woman is stabbed to death in Kintown by a Marine Private First Class, who was arrested after his fingerprints and blood are found. Um, suspect is not event identified here, it says. A junior high school student is raped by a GI in Koza City, unsolved. A 24-year-old hostess is abducted, taken to a abandoned house in Koza City, and raped on her way to work, unsolved. A mentally challenged 12-year-old girl who is playing in front of her house is Gang raped by three GIs in Ginawan City. There is no record after the arrest. A 25-year-old hostess is murdered by an army sergeant who throws her body into a ditch near Awase Golf Course. Says here, 18-year sentence. A 37-year-old hostess is raped and murdered by a private second class in Ginawan City, it says life sentence. A 22-year-old sauna attendant is raped and strangled with a, some kind of sash, says life sentence. A 42-year-old hostess, her nude body is discovered, and although the blood and fingerprints at the scene of the crime match those of a second-class private, lack of evidence prevents his arrest. Despite the requests of the local police to military authorities, the private is discharged and is sent back to the U.S. Ten GIs rape a woman in Okinawa City. During 1973, according to police reports, 14 rape cases and 17 arrests, involving 17 arrested suspects. 1974. Walking along a farm road with her uncle in Kin Village, a 17-year-old girl is stripped naked and gang-raped by three GIs who beat the uncle unconscious. He later identifies the accused, accused leading to the arrest, but there is no record here. A 52-year-old woman working as a restaurant operator in Nago City is hit and killed by a 19-year-old GI is a 13-year sentence. According to police records in 1974, there were 11 rape cases and 14 arrests. 1975. Two junior high school students swimming at the beach in Kin Village are hit with a rock until unconscious and raped by a Camp Hansen Marine. The U.S. military protests, handing him over to the Japanese police, but local citizens and Prefecture assembly members persist until the subject is handed over. According to police reports in 1975, there were five rape cases and six arrests. According to police records, in 1976, there were nine rape cases and nine arrests. According to police reports, in 1977, there were seven rape cases and six arrests. According to police records, in 1978, there were five rape cases and six arrests. According to police records, in 1979, there were five rape cases and six arrests. According to police reports, in 1980, there were eight rape cases and nine arrests. In 1981, a high school student is accosted and threatened with rape in Chatham Town. Junior and senior high school students in Arasoy City are lured inside Camp Kinsa by GIs. According to police reports, in 1981, there were five cases and five arrests. 
1982. A 33-year-old hostess is killed by a private in a room under construction in Nagao City after she rejects him when he tries to rape her. He received a 13-year sentence. According to police records, in 1982, there were three rape cases and four arrests for other crimes. According to police records, in 1983, there was one rape case and one arrest. 1984, a 19-year-old woman is raped by a private first class and a private second class and burnt to death in a car in Ginawan City. No record. On her way home from school, a 17-year-old girl, high school girl, is held at knife point by three GIs who threaten her by saying, I can kill you. She is gang raped in a park. According to police records, in 1984 there were four rape cases and three arrests. 1985, a 40-year-old woman who is on her way home is abducted and raped by a private second class and a private first class in Kintown. According to police reports, in 1987 there were four rape cases and four arrests. In 1988, a 70-year-old girl is raped by a GA who is arrested. A 26-year-old woman who has a mild mental disability is from Okinawa City is abducted by a GA, held and raped in his quarters inside the base for several days, after which he dumps her outside the base. Non-prosecuted. According to police reports, in 1988, there were two rape cases and two arrests. According to the police reports in 1989, there were three rape cases and four arrests. According to police reports in 1990, there were three rape cases and three arrests. According to police reports in 1991, there was one rape case and one arrest. According to police records, in 1992, there was one rape case and one arrest. In 1993, a 90-year-old woman is abducted and raped by an army sergeant. She initially presses charges but later withdraws them. A 14-year-old girl and a 15-year-old girl are raped inside a base by a 22-year-old Green Beret GI. He was sentenced by court-martial to one and a half years. According to police records, in 1993 there were three rape cases and four arrests. In 1994, a woman in Ginawan City is raped by a 19-year-old GI who broke into her house. According to police reports, in 1994, there were three rape cases and three arrests. In 1995, a 24-year-old insurance clerk in Ginawan City is beaten on the face and in the head with a hammer over 50 times, resulting in her death. There was a six-year sentence. An elementary school girl is abducted and raped by three U.S. military personnel. A seven-year and a two six-and-a-half-year sentences. A 14-year-old girl is raped by a GI who belongs to her father's unit. Two women working in a bar in Ginawan City are raped by a GI. The charges were dropped. A 30-year-old woman is held at knife point and raped by a GI. She reports the rape but does not press charges and so no trial is held. A woman is raped inside Kadena base. She reports the rape to Japanese police but two later, two years, sorry, two days later drops the charges and a military court martial is held when she reports the rape to military police. There is a 15-year sentence and discharged by pay loss. 1997, a 22-year-old woman in Okinawa City is accosted by a 33-year-old airman who tries to rape her. His wife brings 200,000 yen apology money. There was a two-year sentence with three-year suspension. A 26-year-old woman is raped by a 29-year-old one-time GI acquaintance. She presses charges, but he refused to admit that he is guilty of rape. According to police records, in 1997, there was one rape case and one arrest. 1998, a 33-year-old civilian employer of the U.S. military 
breaks into the house of a woman of her in her twenties, steals her wallet and rapes her. He confessed the case when he is arrested for a rape on August 22nd in 2004, which is years later because this happened in 1998. He received a six-year sentence in 2006. In the year 2000, a 19-year-old uh, man stationed at Futema Air Station rapes an Okinawa woman on the base. As the victim does not report the case to the local police, he is tried in court-martial. He received a four-year sentence. Early in the morning, a 19-year-old Marine intrudes into an apartment, sexually harassed a 14-year-old junior high school girl. He is arrested, receives a two-year sentence by court-martial. In the U.S., uh, sorry, a U.S. soldier barracks in the Futema Air Station. A soldier rapes an Okinawa woman. According to the police reports, in the year 2000, there were two rape cases and two arrests. 2001, a Marine corporal lifts skirts of high school girls, take photographs, uh, photographs of them, and he is arrested. I think he had to pay a 50,000 yen penalty, it says here. A woman in her 20s was raped by an Air Force soldier when leaving from a restaurant. He received a two-year and eight-month sentence. According to police records, in 2000, there was one rape case and one arrest. According to police reports in 2001, there was one rape case and one arrest. 2002, a 39-year-old Marine Major asks a female worker on the base to give him a ride home and attempts to rape her in the car in Gushikawa City. He received a one-year sentence with a three-year suspension. 2003, a Marine of Camp Hansen assaulted a 19-year-old girl uh, outside the restaurant she was at and raped her. There was a three-and-a-half sentence, year sentence. In 2004, a former Marine turned civilian employee of Kadena Air Base breaks into the house of a woman in her 20s and rapes her in Chatham Town. He received a six-year sentence. He is the same perpetrator of the case on June 13, 1998. In 2005, a 27-year-old Air Force technical sergeant molests a 10-year-old girl. He receives a one-and-a-half-year sentence with four-year suspension. So the cases that I have uh, just read to you are only up into the year 2005. Obviously, now at... Uh, while I'm videotaping this, it's 2019. So we have had many cases of rape and murder in, especially in Okinawa, on the island in Japan. So uh, also here it says the Marine Major who was arrested for attempted rape on November 2nd, 2002. He was then sentenced in October 2005 and arrested in the U.S. For abduction and attempted rape of an 18 year old Vietnamese American female student. So these American military servicemen who commit these crimes are being sent back to the USA. And then in August 2006, one of the perpetrators of the gang rape of the 12 year old little girl um, in 1995, he then went back uh, to the US, raped and then strangled to death a 22-year-old female college student, and then a committed suicide. So, uh, as I mentioned, these cases go on right up to present day. And as I was just speaking, I, was, uh, I gave an, uh, my intervention at the United Nations in Geneva in July uh, 2019. And I said, are these mere numbers? These are not just mere numbers. These are people here. These are somebody's son, daughter, husband, wife, child. And I was actually a rape victim myself in 2002 by a United States military serviceman. And because this was never in the news, nobody knows about these cases. It was rarely spoken about. I thought that I was the only rape victim by United States military in Japan. 
but when these were uncovered and I found this research, I dedicated my life for the last 20 years to trying to change these rapes and murders that continue happening like a broken record, especially in Okinawa. It is time for us as human rights defenders to keep on breaking this silence and trying to get our voices to be heard all over the world so the light can shine upon what has been happening in Japan and on the island of Okinawa for the past 70 years. Impunity of US military servicemen must stop and the Japanese government and the American military must take prevention measures to stop these crimes from happening. Thank you very much. We have the floor. Mr. Vice President, for over 70 years, U.S. military servicemen have committed crime in Japan. 1952 to 2017, over 210,000 crimes, accidents, so on. These are according to the Ministry of Defense. Are these mere numbers? I was one of those numbers. I was raped. Japan police held me for 13 hours. No food, no water, treated like a criminal, forced to look for the rapist, reenact the rape in photos. I am the first woman to break the silence in Japan after being raped in 2002. For this, I am followed by secret police, received death threats. I won my case in Tokyo, but the rapist fled Japan. I looked for him for 10 years by myself. I found him. No woman should have to fight this hard for justice. I sued the rapist in the USA and I won again, and the US courts endorsed the Japanese verdict. I was entitled to receive compensation. I asked for one dollar, because justice is not about money to me. I want rape to stop. Eighteen years now, I tried to change the SOFA agreement that let the rapist flee Japan. 2016, Okinawa women murdered, stuffed into a suitcase. In the past, six-year-old girl raped, mutilated, women beaten to death in the street. This is happening in Japan now. I speak on behalf of all victims. I request the UN to investigate these violations of human rights. Impunity of US military crimes must stop. Thank you for hearing my voice, our voices, Vice President.